Right now, I want to uh, introduce to the Culture Share audience a very special guest. His name is Mr. Fred Mitchell, but in the Calypso world, you know him as the composer. Composer, I want to welcome you to Culture Share. Thank you for welcoming me to Culture Share, and I'd just like to point this out that, um, as you mentioned, um, I'm the composer, but I'd like to insist that I be called the mighty composer. The mighty, okay. Because people may mistake uh, just the composer as a man who simply composes, you know, but I'm the mighty composer, that personality in Calypso world. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Tell me a little audience now, how long have you actually been in, uh, in the Calypso business? I came into the Calypso business in the early 60s. Before that, I was involved with my family group called the Singing Mitchells. And that's where I first um, got into Calypso by providing backup uh, chorus work for Calypsonians. I had the opportunity to study many, many Calypsonians, and that's how I came into the business. So I started in 1964 mm -hmm. with my tune called Supposing. Supposing. And okay. since then I've been, you know, always on the go singing Calypsos. All right. So initially, how did you actually get started? Well, um, I met Mighty Sparrow way back in the in 60s. Uh -huh. And um, because his backup group, the March of Dimes, there were some problems there. And he decided that he would use uh, my family group, the Singing Mitchells. Mm -hmm. And we became good friends. And I decided to, you know, get into the business. And he encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And that's how I came That's how I got started. Yeah. So did you begin, like, singing the tent uh, at an early age? Yes. On my very first year, I, I, I created what may be called an impact because my very first tune was readily accepted by the audiences. That was in 1964. Uh, which tent was that? Where that was the to? original Young Brigade. Okay. And I went right through the season, um, very, very well received until the finals. I, I, I did enter into the competition on the night of the finals, which was won by my great friend, the Mighty Bomber. Mighty Bomber. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we both beat the Mighty Sparrow and the Lord Kitchener into submission. That on night? That night. Yes, that on night. that night. Uh -huh. on that night. And there are only four persons who were able to achieve that beating the Mighty Sparrow. Two of them have since died. And the two of us are still remain still alive. Um, Yourself. Mighty Bummer and myself. And who are the two that has passed on? Um, Bryna, who did it with an independence calypso competition, and um, Dogla, who beat him in, uh, somewhere in the 60s. Okay. Now, have you actually won any competitions? I performing? have never won any national competitions. Mm -hmm. But I think I am the Calypsonian who has placed runner-up more times. I've been four times runner-up in the national competition. Four times. Four well. times, not good enough to be number one and too good <laughs> to be number three. Okay. All right. Now, um, have you been recording lately? Have you, had, have you had any records out there? No, I have not been recording lately. I have a lot of unrecorded works, which I intend to, to, to get into at this stage. But there was a trend where um, the recording business was only encouraging um, the party type tunes. Mm -hmm. And I thought that there were enough people doing that sort of thing. I have nothing against it, it is good, but I feel that there are some of us who should be taking up the more meaningful things in life. And these things are not very commercialized. For example? Well, when we sing about things which affect our nation, like social commentaries and so on, um, these are not um, hot selling records. Okay. They are not the danceable type uh, tunes. And experienced Calypsonians do not put very, very serious topics into danceable music mm -hmm. because the meaning and the mood gets lost. Okay. So we have to sacrifice that commercialism part of it, but we keep the art alive. We are the protectors of the art, of the Calypso art form. Art form. Now, like I said at the beginning of uh, when, I, when we opened up and you were telling me when we, before we came on, um, something about you're not an old-time Calypso. Now, you want to touch on that a little bit? Yes, you see, there are many Calypsonians who are still practicing, who really um, should be identified. They deserve and they should be respected, and I respect them for that. I think I would be impersonating them if I claim to be one of the old timers, really, because I met some of these gentlemen, and they were pretty well experienced and well ad, ad, um, established, and they're still going strong. Mm -hmm. Some of them are over 80 years and still, still going strong. practicing the art form, and we are very privileged to have 
at least two of them here with us. We have um, Pretender. Pretender. And we have the Mighty Terror. The Mighty Terror. Um, the Mighty Bomber has been singing Calypso for a very long time as well, but mm -hmm. um, these guys are ahead of him in age. And, and yeah. Okay, well, you among all these other guys you just mentioned will be appearing live at the Golden Pavilion yes. tomorrow, Sunday, Father's Day, June 16th. Yes. Um, so what can we look forward to from the composer on stage? Well, you can look. I have a special song that will be dedicated to all fathers mm -hmm. and all people who cannot claim to be youth okay. any longer. So uh, that is one special thing that I have. And I'll be singing all of my old hits. And may I say this, I'm very, very privileged to be on this show because it is the first time in the world that any show will have all these hits spanning these numbers of years sung by the exponents themselves mm -hmm. on one stage on one stage mm -hmm. a, co a collection mm -hmm. of calypso hits spanning over half a century it has to be yes when we think I of agree. tunes coming from the 30s and some of the i think the late 20s mm -hmm. and right up to um, last year, which mm -hmm. I think the Mighty Bomber is going to do one of his new compositions. New compositions. So we have uh, half a century of hits on one stage that has never happened anywhere, anywhere else, else in the world. Well, I'm privileged to be a part of this, and I know you are also. Very much. And that's why it's called Calypso Classic. I want to say congratulations to you, composer, and uh, it's been really nice talking to you. Well, and I'm very privileged to have met a personality like you. Okay, like they say in the show business world, go break a leg. I will break both. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.